what's happening big nerd nation and yeah we are continuing the bts train and we're checking out bts hardships 2013 to 2021 um from es escalist i hope i said that right um but yeah i reacted to one of her videos before um really good um video this is bts i thought that was a good video a nice a nice introduction um but yeah we've got this uh this next video and which is longer <laughs> it's longer than the, the than the than the other video so um yeah but you know me i do like um checking out some of these uh kind of mini documentary type of videos so yeah but um yeah so i'm gonna be uh um diving into this one you know find out some more stuff about bts and um and hey again this was requested heavily um they said i should react to this one so um yeah we're gonna just jump into it let's check it out this video was not made in order to relive the sadness or to hold grudges against others this video was made to remind us that bts didn't rise to success without facing hurdles and these events have created a stronger bond between BTS and ARMY. June 13, 2013. BTS were only able to debut because the scheduled performers canceled. Mm. BTS was a filler. Yeah, I remember that. Even after debuting, they couldn't get much airtime. Their performances were either shortened, cut from broadcasts, or not uploaded for online consumption due to their company's lack of clout at that time. From sleeping in one bedroom to using their own staff as extras <laughs> to recording an album in a garage. These were just a few things BTS experienced early on in their careers due to their company's limited budget. <laughs> Because some of the members came from an underground rap background, but ultimately chose the path of becoming idols, they were often disrespected. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. When you see, when you built a fan base already, so like he said, he came from you know, um, with the underground, um, underground um, hip hop scene, and obviously the fans, the fans that he he built from those times, they don't mind what he's doing now like in the future or whatever because again things change um you know you get older um you know you have new new challenges new um you know just stuff that you want to jump into and uh yeah so i'm guessing a lot of the um again hate a lot of the haters are um um are people who don't really know them um they're just you know coming up with their own assumptions and whatever but yeah that's crazy a rapper told RM and Suga that they were on the right path, but mm. straight away and were no longer considered real rap hip hop artists, deeming them girls for wearing makeup. Jesus Christ. Jesus 
Oh, jeez, jeez. Ah, that's so petty. Ah, that's so petty. Oh, jeez. But straight away and were no longer considered real rap hip hop artists, deeming them girls for wearing makeup. <laughs> What? the front door. What the hell? Oh my god. Hold on. Did he just really say that? Hold on. That will, hold on. Wait. Was that the interviewer that would say. That was the interviewer that was saying that? Oh man. Oh. See now. Yeah, I don't know if I, I don't know if I could sit there and, 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 and take that. I think I would have done something crazy because, you know, I would have lift the table. I, I don't know, man. It's just wow. The way the way the interviewer just the way he said it, it's like being a girl. Jeez. Wow. How long oh man, this must have been they must be right at the beginning of their career. They must be right at the beginning. Man, that's crazy. What? Oh, shut the front door. BTS were being told by several people they would never make it because they came from a small agency. Big Hit Entertainment was at one point near bankruptcy and didn't have the financial power to promote and push BTS the way other companies could with their own groups. In 2014, Suga shared his story about battling depression since pre-debut days. Suga continues to discuss and bring awareness to mental health through his work. Until now, BTS has continuously been transparent about their darkest thoughts and feelings, not just through their music, but also their very public personas. February 2014 BTS were accused of copying the schoolboy concept for Boy in Love, which came out shortly after another group released their music video, even though the concept is a popular choice amongst young boy bands. April 2014. During a variety show, the host confronted them about this plagiarism accusation. Throughout their careers, they've been constantly. Is, yeah, you know these, you know these kind of things happen. You know, it's like sometimes I don't know. Again, it overlaps. It, 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 you know, it does overlap. Um, you know, and, and and to be honest, and and to be fair, to be fair, even if it didn't overlap, I mean, what's the problem? Because. Sometimes you can be inspired by another group or another artist. You can just, you know, you'd be like, okay, you know what? That was really cool. I like how these people are, are doing their stuff. Hmm, let me try it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it anyway. But, um, but like they said, it was overlapped. So it just happened. Hmm. Throughout their careers, they've been constantly criticized for plagiarism, often for outfits, props, concepts, and hair colors that are ordinary not just in K-pop, but the expansive world of visual arts. November 2014, hashtag kick out J-Hope BTS trended on Twitter, calling J-Hope ugly and untalented. The trend became popular enough that their friend and supervisor from their reality show American Hustle Life, Tony Jones, tweeted out saying, Every member is needed and talented. Jin stepped in by You know what, I think I'm gonna say some of my thoughts to the end of the video. It's just gonna to be too long this video. Saying every member is needed and talented. Jin stepped in by telling armies to cheer up and that all of them were working hard. Armies got together and trended hashtag J Hope you're perfect to comfort him. May 2015. 
BTS finally won their first music show with their song I Need You two years after their debut, but were accused of sacheki. This is when companies buy back albums to boost external sales records. But this was when their company was barely surviving financially, making the claims groundless. May 2015 V was accused of mocking another idol group after they won a music show and were accepting the trophy. People began to send him death threats, however, he wasn't mocking them at all. V was known to be a fan of this group and was singing their song out of excitement. He apologized on Twitter for the misunderstanding and provided screenshots showing that he would always listen to this song before bed. July 2015. Oh, oh, man. <clears throat> I wouldn't even. Oh, man. See, that was it. The, the, the guy is too nice, obviously. He's just way too nice. Um, I wouldn't have justified anything um, because I would know the truth myself. Um, so I wouldn't have gone out. The way, oh my God, this, you know what? If it's going to be like this for the whole video, I'm just going to be, end up being pissed off. <laughs> I'm going to end up being angry, you know, I, I, I swear. But, oh, but okay, you know what? Let's, let's go, let's just go. 15. BTS abruptly halted their concert, The Red Bullet, in New York due to death threats towards RM. All related fan activities were also subsequent. Hey, you know what? Sorry, sorry to stop it again. But you know what? Death threats. Death threats. I mean, who wants to threaten these guys? Oh my god, man. This is, this is, this is serious. This is a serious um, video here. Due to death threats towards RM, all related fan activities were also subsequently cancelled. Attendees of the show were forced to leave the venue, where there was a strong presence of security and police at the scene. Sorry. 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 We love you. I love you. RM also received another death threat for another upcoming show in Mexico later that month. July 2016, people began to debate over alleged misogynistic lyrics and tweets from BTS. This led to the members and the company reflecting back on their actions. BTS's agency, Big Hit Entertainment, responded with an apology and a promise to do better. Consequently, the band grew from this lesson and have since released feminist overtures such as 21st Century Girl, and in 2019, responded to their 2014 single, Boy in Love with Boy with Love, a collaboration with Halsey. RM Halsey. has said that since the incident, he pays closer attention to the lyrics he writes, reading newspapers and books to study the social phenomena. After he finishes writing lyrics, he consults experts of women's studies to objectively examine the lyrics. May 2016 You know, I get it. I, I, yeah, I get it. Um, yeah, I get it. Sometimes, yeah, I mean, you have to, you know, you have to be careful what you say. But at, but at the same time, it, it is music. It is art. Um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, how bad were the lyrics? I would like... I mean, I would really, really like to know what the lyrics were. I mean, how how bad were they? Um, you know, but then I, mm, I don't know. But then I suppose it depends from where you're from. Because um, we're, we're talking about lyrics, especially when it comes to, you know, if it's a, if it's a rap song or a, um, you know, or, 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 or um, a singing, a singing song or whatever. It's like... There are some lyrics that some people might not agree with, um, especially, I mean, you go to the, like the US, the US has, you know, all kinds of stuff in their lyrics, um, but it doesn't mean that, I don't know, man, but, it, but again, it just could be from where, you know, it could be like, because from where they're from, but man. To objectively examine the lyrics, May 2016, during their epilogue concert, Antis began to use the hashtag Plagiarism Boy Scouts. Multiple fandoms teamed up to trend this hashtag in Korea. BTS saw this 
and the media latched on.、Mm. June 2016, during the variety show. Fly- okay, so so okay, so this trend it was it it, it it was happening a lot in in Korea. I'm guessing. I mean, again, I don't know, but from what they're saying,、um, those those uh those tweets or whatever, um. You know, rival. I won't say rival, but、um, you know, anti,、um, anti BS fans, whatever. They were they were、um, sending out these hashtag, these tweets and stuff, and plagiarism is. Do you think deep? On June 2016, during the variety show Flower Crew, Jungkook arrived at the filming location with a bag of hamburgers. For his cast members, hoping to break the ice, one of the cast members made rude comments and turned Jungkook's offer away. BTS has since filmed another variety show with the same host, and spirits seem high. September 2016. Antis made yet another project called Break Wings Project to try to sabotage their comeback in October. The project was caught and stopped once comments on YouTube broadcasting the project were put on blast. Wings then went on to sell 16,000 units in its first week, appearing at number 26 on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart,、mm. setting the then highest record for a K-pop album. And making BTS the first and only K-pop act at that time to log three entries on the Billboard 200. Because of this, Antis took strategic pictures of non-armies and claimed that there was no line in stores that sold physical albums. Oh my god! October 2016. <laughs> ah, these Antis, man, they're desperate. <laughs> Oh man, these guys are so desperate.、Uh, these antiques, man. Teen. During the Busan One Asia Festival, fans were told a couple hours before the broadcast that BTS were no longer appearing because one member was absent from an injury. Even though a countless number of fans were already present at the event venue, and BTS was ready and willing to perform. BTS ended up performing for the fans who attended the event and waited all day. But it was at the end of the event with leftover confetti, no proper lighting, and no cameras rolling.、Oh, Their performance、no. was not broadcasted, and only fan cams were taken.、Oh. October 2016. Dur- oh no, oh, man. They couldn't even keep the cameras rolling for the last performance. I mean, how long was the performance? Must be only like what five minutes. Oh, jeez. Fan camps were taken. October 2016, during BTS's Blood, Sweat, and Tears promotion in South Korea, BTS wasn't given a waiting room at the broadcast center. So the members made do and practiced, got dressed, and did makeup in front of the bathrooms. They would practice nonstop without resting, greeting other staffers who were going to the bathroom, and other idol groups would openly look down on them. This comment was left under a video uploaded by Wei, a member from Crayon Pop. Wei responded, "Yes, that's right. All I remember is their hard work and efforts. I especially haven't forgotten RM's voice practicing Japanese."、Mm. November 2016. V made a heartfelt announcement during their muster that his beloved grandmother had passed away. Antti saw this as an opportunity to twist his narrative and intentions, sending him death threats and accusing him of using her passing as a ploy for attention. Is, is this is, is is this real? I I can't I can't even. You know what? I don't know. Can I can I even get through this video? Um, I'm gonna be stopping like every five minutes. I mean. This is crazy. I'm getting really annoyed now. I'm getting really annoyed. I mean, they're talking. The guy lost his grandmother, and the aunties. I mean, you know what? She's calling them aunties. I'm gonna call them aunties. The aunties are using the passing of his of his grandmother. 
They're using that against him. Oh, God. Oh, dude. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? All right. Let's go. Let's go. I need to get through this video. Accusing him of using her passing as a ploy for attention. November 2016, Big Hit released a formal statement about taking legal actions regarding malicious rumors, false statements, and personal attacks against BTS. Yeah, that's right. The company continues to pursue legal actions against perpetrators to this day, enforcing a strict no settlement and leniency policy. November 2016, Fans of another group were upset that BTS won Album of the Year at the Melon Music Awards, claiming it was done out of charity and that miscalculations were made. Mm. They called Melon Customer Care, where an employee explained that the company's internal data <laughs> proved that BTS scored higher. Audio of the conversation was released. <laughs> 저희가 보는 거랑 뭐 멜론 내부에서 보는 거랑 그러면은 데이터가 아예 다르다는 소린가요? 아니요. 똑같으시고요. 거기서 보셨던 거는 차트랑 네. 그리고 스트리밍 그 실시간 그 앨범 자체가 나오고 나서 순간 차트에 대한 그런 데이터를 아십니까? 그건 아닌 거 같아요. 고객, 고객께서 보신 전체 데이터 수치는 아마 보시기 어려우실 거예요. 그 데이터는 로에너만 갖고 있고요. 고객께서 봤던 정리를 어떤 식으로 진행하셔가지고 어떤 식으로 보신지 모르겠는데 고객들께서 정리해서 보신 거는 그 차트 차트 반영에 관한 내용들이고요. 네. 그 부분이 아니라 1년 동안 고객님들께서 스트리밍 돌리시고 앨범을 산그 이용권 말고 많은 대중들이 전체적으로 그 듣잖아요. 네. 그거에 대한 결과 전체 음원 합산 점수예요. 내부적 고객께서 지금 생각하신 게 혹시 내부적 이게 비리가 있는 거 아니냐라고 생각이 드실 수 있는데요. 네. 뭐 제가 말씀드릴 수 있는 부분은 비리 전혀 없으시고요. 방탄이 1년 동안 보다 스트리밍 수가 많이 받았다 받아서 상을 받았다라고 생각하시면 되십니다. February 2017. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. And you called out the cut. Oh my god, how did you call up and complain? Oh man, I have not seen anything like this before in my life. I mean, maybe this this kind of stuff goes on, but this is this is the first time I'm actually seeing this. Oh, is this what you know what? This is crazy. They actually called up and say, No, I think you got the results wrong. I don't think BTS should have won, blah blah blah. That is mad. That is mad. BTS were accused of plagiarism after their performance at the Gaon Chart Music Awards. The part in question was when the no signal bars on screen resembled another group's past stage. To make matters worse, the creative director of the group in question created a post on Instagram with the captions, hmm, our hard work, and siblings of the group liked that post. Gaon Charts eventually posted an official statement in regards to the accusation, admitting that their own production team was in charge of the graphics, not Big Hit. BTS has not attended or performed at Gaon Chart Music Awards since, only pre-taping acceptance speeches. March 2017, death threats were made against BTS, with their target being Jimin this time. Aww. This threat happened during their world tour, and Big Hit addressed this threat, increasing security around the venues. December 2017, fans of a different group were so outraged by the results at the 2017 Mnet Asian Music Awards that they filed a petition under the Blue House the executive office and official residence of the South Korean head of state. Jeez. They requested MAMA to be abolished because BTS won, crashing the Blue House petition website, which was meant for the South Korean citizens only, with traffic from overseas. May 2018, Jimin once again received death threats, this time during their Love Yourself tour in Fort Worth. Police tweeted soon afterwards that they were investigating the threat. November 2018 On November 7, a South Korean court ordered a Japanese company to compensate them for wartime labor during Japan's colonial rule of the Korean Peninsula. 
The next day, Japan's TV's Asahi's music station announced that they have canceled BTS's appearance on their show, slated for November 9th, due to a recently resurfaced screenshot of a member wearing a t shirt depicting a photo of an atomic bomb and of Koreans celebrating their independence from Japan. The band subsequently became attacked by the extreme conservatives in Japan and the new. Yeah, and, 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 and you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I live in Japan and, um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know about this, this story, but, um, th there are some, um, really strong, um, uh, conservatives over here that, um, yeah, who are just, um, you know, who, you know, who are just against foreigners in general. So yeah, that, that doesn't surprise me, but, um, this this t i can't believe it that um they were supposed to appear on a tv show um the music station and the music station is a big listen that's a big um that's a big show um that's every that's on like every friday that's every friday um and yeah that's where all the that's where all artists come to perform um live so um but the fact that they couldn't even appear on that just because of the um because of the t-shirt or whatever um yeah that's yeah that's crazy man that's crazy people are a bit uh, i don't know man uh, again news was picked up by the western media <laughs> Political, 그 전세계에서 쏟아내고 있는 기사들이 어디가 어떻게 잘못된 건가 팩트 체크를 다 하면서 이 2차 세계대전에 대한 어떤 그 자료들을 다 모아서 백서 화이트 페이퍼 네. 프로젝트를 발간합니다. 아, 영문으로 해서 저렇게 하는 거예요? 예, 영문과 한국어 동시에 April 2019. During BTS's global press conference for Matt. I mean, yeah, that was yeah, yeah. Of course, it's it, it, it's of course it's more deeper than him just wearing a T-shirt. Of course, of course it was. Yeah, very. It's just political. Yeah. April 2019. During BTS's global press conference for Map of the Soul Persona. A reporter bluntly asked BTS about past plagiarism allegations. Yeah, 답변을 좀 듣고 싶은 부분 때문에 어, 질문을 네. 드렸습니다. 네, 그거에 대해서는 저희 회사에서 이제 이 저희 회사 벙팀에서 작가님이 이야기를 하고 있고요. 저희 의견, 저희 생각도 회사랑 동일하다고 생각을 하고 있습니다. 네, 그거에 대해서는 회사에서 지금 처리를 하고 있기 때문에 뭐 결과가 나오면 알겠죠. 네, 감사합니다. Netizens later uncovered an article written by a reporter of the same name on another entertainment company's news website. April 2019, SBS Inkigayo excluded BTS's Boy With Love out of its charts for the song's first illegible week. Questions about the criteria used by the music show were raised, while SBS continued to claim the calculation period did not fit with BTS's album release time. To this, Dispatch compared BTS to another group who also released a song on the same day. That group entered the rankings and took its first win for their song that week, while BTS were left out of the rankings entirely. December 2019 
JTBC reported that BTS went against their own agency and planned to file a lawsuit against Big Hit Entertainment. Big Hit pulled out receipts and released a lengthy statement on behalf of Big Hit Entertainment, BTS, and the members' families. They called the media company's journalism practices into question, stating, We have not only the video that JTBC used for the first report, but also the CCTV video that recorded the footage of the journalist breaking into our company. December 2019 NBC is accused of abusing their power to purposely prevent other groups under Big Hit Entertainment from appearing at their year-end show after BTS chose to appear on the US's NBC New Year's Rockin' Eve countdown in New York City instead of NBC's year-end program. According to Osen, multiple industry sources shared, ever since October, when BTS's side told NBC that BTS would not be appearing on NBC's year-end music festival, it has been difficult for singers associated with Big Hit Entertainment to appear on NBC. It is already an openly known fact in the industry. <laughs> January 2020 For 29 years, the Seoul Music Awards only had one grand prize, also known as a desang. But in 2020, they created a second desang for digital music. BTS won the desang for physical music only, even though their stats proved that they should have also gotten the desang for digital music as well. BTS did not appear in person to accept the award and has only sent in video acceptance speeches since. Mm. July 2020, Naver. The Google of South Korea reportedly invested over $80 million into another entertainment company after losing out on profits from BTS, who chose to hold an online concert through Weverse, a mobile app and web platform developed by Big Hit Entertainment. Mm -hmm. BTS earned at least $21 million in ticket revenue, according to an analyst at securities firm. He stated, Naver lost BTS the most popular IP of K-pop, and must have felt the need to invest in entertainment to form a stable relationship. Since 2017, fans have noticed that South Korean platforms such as Naver and media journalists were ignoring and downplaying BTS's achievements. Popular websites hardly posted anything about them, nor did they feature BTS on their front pages. Music critic Kim Young Day and you see that happens. You know, oh, God, see that happens a lot. You know, um, you know some of you know some some of the artists that I like. Um, I'm not going to mention, but they you know they they get some of that treatment as well, where um, you know certain um, publication companies wouldn't put up their um, you know their awards or you know things that they achieved um records that they broke and stuff like that so yeah this is mad bts yeah or did they feature bts on their front pages music <laughs> critic kim young day and popular political commentator kim oh jun recently discussed this issue the news is that the news of 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 the news 현상을 지속적으로 만들었는데 거기에 비하자면 아주 수량이 좀 적다. 호들갑 떨기 그렇게 좋아하는 이, 이 미디어들이 왜 이럴까? 궁금증이 평소에 있었거든. 연결되는 이야기예요. 기자들이 일단 BTS의 성공은 뭐 이제 어느 정도 보도가 돼요. 그러면 우리가 흔히 알고 있는 소위 대형 기획사의 아이돌이 그것보다 사실은 못 미치는 어떤 활약을 보였을 때 미디어에 보도되는 양이나 그 커버되는 범위를 보시면 아. 확연히 차이가 납니다. 아. 굉장히 좀 재밌는 부분이고 이번 그래미 같은 경우 어떻게 들어가냐면 주요 부문에서 등극에 실패했다라고 한다든지 <웃음> <웃음> 여러 가지 이유 중에 이거 하나가 중요하다고 생각해요. 뭐냐면 BTS라는 이 현상, BTS의 미국에서의 성공, BTS의 세계적인 열풍 자체가 제도권의 시스템을 거치지 않았다는 거예요. 
어. 그래서 이 제도권을 점하고 있는 그 언론일 수도 있고 음. 뭐 프로모터일 수도 있고 음반회사일 수도 있죠. 이 사람들이 보기에 썩 납득이 가지 않고 음. 유쾌하지도 않아요. 자기 힘이 입증이 안 되는 거지 그렇게 되면. 그렇습니다. 점하고 있는 위치에서 자기 영향력이라는 게 있는데 이걸 다 거치지 않고 성공해버렸으니까 자기 존재 이유가 없어지는 거 아니에요. 그런 맥락에서는 December 2020 For the last few years, BTS has been the face of political discourse on the revisions of South Korea's mandatory military service. Even though BTS and their company have not spoken about wanting postponement or exemptions and have insisted that they will serve when called upon. In August 2018, all major South Korean entertainment companies held a meeting to discuss petitioning the government to revise the law to allow K-pop performers to be exempt from service. In addition to the top artists, musicians, and athletes that already qualify. Big Hit Entertainment mm -hmm. was not among the agencies, but BTS was used as the leading example for this revision. On December 22, 2020, the Ministry of National Defense announced that a revision has been made, effective June 23, 2021, where popular culture artists can postpone their enlistment until age 30, with the requirements that the individuals must have been recommended as recipients of the Order of Cultural Merit, one of the highest national honors given to artists in South Korea. In April 2021, 26 agencies, led by the Korean Music Content Association, filed a written objection against the revision, stating that the new law is both unrealistic and unfair. March 2021 So, so hold on, so that means... Okay. Wow. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, I get it. Um... So it was postponed to the 30, to, to the 30. So, oh, oh, hold on. Do they have to still go back? So, so hold on, no, go back. Do they still have to join the military when they're 30? Hold on, hold on. Did I miss something? Hold on. Of cultural merit. One of the highest national honors given to artists in South Korea. In April 2021, 26 agencies led by the Korean Music Content Association, filed a written objection against the revision, stating that the new law is both unrealistic and unfair. March 2021, mm. BTS was nominated for the Best Duo Group Performance at the Grammys, which was announced during the online pre-show instead of the primetime ceremony, as it usually was in previous years. Unfortunately, they didn't take home the award, but what made fans even more upset was that the Grammys used BTS as ratings bait, teasing that BTS's performance would be quote-unquote up next, but were actually placed as the second-to-last performance during the three and a half hours. Oh. <laughs> oh, classic, classic Grammys. Classic. Classic. Why am I not surprised? This is this is what Grammys. That's what Grammys do. You know what I mean, they they get people hyped because obviously it's a long show, and before every commercial, they'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, this artist is coming up next," you know. And then the next commercial, yeah, this this artist coming up. I mean, you know, you just saw the artist in the last commercial, but they keep saying it. Yeah, he's coming soon. They're coming soon. They're coming soon. And then second to last i mean that's the end of the show that's crazy that bts's performance would be quote unquote up next but were actually placed as the second to last performance during the three and a half hour broadcast and only given the time to perform an abridged performance of their song a former managing editor for the grammy awards website spoke out the next day about the recording academy and how it pushed back on featuring BTS. But BTS got the last laugh. A live stream of the band celebrating after the event has so far garnered more than 13 million views, hmm. compared to the 8.8 .8 million viewers who tuned into the Grammys. 
March 2021. Tops released the Garbage Pail Kit. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. So they got. <laughs> so this got played more. Ah, oh, that's so. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> that's funny. That is so funny. Live stream of the band celebrating after the event has so far garnered more than 13 million, 30 million views, views compared to the 8.8 .8 million viewers who tuned into the Grammys. Oh. March 2021. <laughs> Tops released the Garbage Pail Kids Shammy Awards illustration and cards. Unlike oh the other artists who were featured, BTS was depicted as being brutalized. Now, before before I continue this, um, I was um, a huge a huge fan of. Um, did I have uh, cards called uh, Garbage Patch Kids? And yeah, it was just like they just had you know like crazy characters and stuff like that and um they had like figures and dolls and everything um but this is obviously this is like a yeah this is like a um a parody because this is what garbage pill kids so but yeah i i do remember i, I do remember they did this kind of cards like back in the day like long time ago when i was you know when i was a child so yeah the Garbage Pail Kids Shammy Awards illustration and cards. Unlike the other artists who were featured, BTS was depicted as being brutalized and beaten up. Look at that! Look what it ah uh, that is so obvious and that is so obvious and bait. That is so obvious what they're trying to do here. You know, and they've even got the award. They they're using the award to bang their heads. Look at that, that's crazy. But over here they've got Stunning Stallion and they've got UF Bruno, you know, they've got all of that. But then look how they did, uh, that's so, uh, I mean, how obvious can you be? How obvious can you be? ...who were featured, BTS was depicted as being brutalized and beaten up by a Grammy trophy inside a whack-a-mole. This isn't the first time BTS has been shunned, put down, or bullied. In February 2021, a German radio station host made racist remarks about BTS, comparing them to COVID-19, and voiced his hopes that there will be a vaccine against BTS soon. He openly cursed at them for covering a Coldplay song and said that BTS deserves a 20-year vacation in North Korea. Uh. Oh, yeah okay you know what? i'm again I'm, I'm gonna save my thoughts to the end yeah i'm gonna save my thoughts halsey at bts he openly cursed at them for covering a cold play song and said that bts deserves a 20-year vacation in north korea Halsey, Max, Lal, Steve Aoki, and more artists slammed the radio station's racism and xenophobia. Oh, yeah. The host and station maintains yeah. that it was just a joke and that folks are too sensitive. During Zack Sang's show, a member named Liam from a boy band called Forever In Your Mind made these comments. Yeah, there, I agree that they're yeah. a boy band, but at the same time, it's like the rate i feel like that's like a different like they belong in a different genre on their own because i feel like there still needs to be like a european or an american boy band to be at the top and i think bts can just live in their own they're bts okay. they don't you know what i mean no okay, but they're I like it. like they, i don't think that they're gonna... so crazy it's oh, dude, and it's global yeah it's, yeah, yeah, like, yeah yeah i'm a fan like, i'm they're really yeah, good, I like them. They're good I, dancers. I can't i can't get behind it i don't understand what they're saying i got and it what? i, got I just, it. I don't even know what to call them boys or girls because I don't know what they are. Look at these people. Look at this one. I don't know which one he is. Look at those highlights. Those chunky Tony and Guy mall salon. Like, like who, who are you? What, are you? what are you talking about? What are you talking? And the first, the first guy. Who, who, who's that anyway? I don't even know who that the other guy is talking about yeah i can't get into them i don't understand their their language you know yeah I can't. what the heck are you talking about yeah yeah, see, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. i'm a fan I'm, they're yeah, really good, I, like them. They're good I, dancers. I can't i can't get behind it i don't understand what they're saying <laughs> i got and it I, got I just i don't even know what to call them boys or girls because i don't know what they are look at these people look at this one hold on, hold on wait and she's what former deputy editor of star magazine
this is the kind of people you've got that talking ah you know what this video is making me really i mean ah ah okay I, I i need to relax i need to relax i don't know which one he is look at those highlights those chunky tony and guy it's fashion mall salon highlights and the contact lenses you are an asian man you don't need to look like a girl named ashley on a what the heck are you talking about oh man oh, i don't believe this i do not believe this man I, 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 oh god man it makes me yeah it makes me sick yeah it makes me sick like what are you talking about it's don't you know fashion don't you know fashion you are an asian man you don't need to look like a girl named ashley when i first heard something korean had exploded in america i got worried i don't know i think they look very nice <laughs> oh, that is not what you were saying during the break. How did this become a thing in Western culture where all these grown men and little girls are getting off to little K-pop boys? <laughs> a senior editor from The Economist said, please no. After BTS was announced, as speakers at the 75th UN General Assembly. She quickly tried to backtrack, claiming it was a joke. This led to Stefan Pollard, a British journalist, to tweet this, and Anne Hegarty, a television personality, responding with, all this about a little Korean boy band that's fundamentally not important? Jeez. So when BTS uh. was named Entertainer of the Year by Time Magazine soon after, RM said, We're not sure if we've actually earned respect, but one thing is for sure is that people feel like, okay, this is not just some kind of syndrome or phenomenon. These little boys from Korea are doing this. Yeah, that's right. BTS have always that's been right. outspoken about the injustice of racial discrimination. Yeah. In the summer of 2020, they used their platform and proudly announced their support for Black Lives Matter and donated $1 million yeah. to the organization. With the recent rise and visibility of atrocities against Asians, BTS released a statement on their Twitter standing in solidarity once again. These are just a few of the countless examples of mistreatment, racism, and xenophobia that BTS has been encountering around the world throughout their storied career. It will more than likely be a continued uphill battle. As artists of color who are constantly breaking records and barriers, amassing fans and growing in popularity around the globe, hostility and jealousy will come easily from those not afforded the luxury of such a strong and dedicated fan base. As fans who are cognizant of their journey and understand that their popularity comes from their sincerity and talent, armies have a tendency to be protective, and sometimes overly so. If only because of the awareness of what BTS and ARMY are up against when fighting for fair representation. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god. You see, you see how I just get, you see how I just get deep into these kind of mini documentaries? Look at it again. 30, 30 minute video and the thing is finished. Ah. Uh, Wow. Wow. Um Well, first things first. Um great video. Brilliant, brilliant video. My favorite actually. Probably my favorite um one of my favorite videos, definitely. Um yeah. Um I went through a lot of emotions watching this. <laughs> i have to say um the kind of stuff you know what it's kind of i don't know it oh it it, it it left me a little bit speechless i i have to say I, I have so many things going on in my head right now and i and i can't believe this is the kind of stuff that they were going through i mean let's just start from the beginning actually so 
they were getting all that hate, all that anti, wherever they, yeah, they were, that, you know, anti BTS. Um, they were getting that. Some of it was coming from um, Korea with all the tweets and stuff like that. Okay. But when they reached the Western world, and we are talking about, you know, the States, um, the UK, whatever, then you just saw some of the most obvious and blatant racism there. Just, it, 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 it was just so obvious. It was so obvious. Um, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah, I got really, I, yeah, I got really, um, um, annoyed. Yeah. Really annoyed, really pissed off. Um, yeah. I, I, and again, sorry, this video is a long video, but yeah, I need to, yeah, I just have to get this out. Um, it was just, just so many things going on. And, uh, you know, for, for, for a 30 minute video, I have to say, I, listen, um, it, you know, it gave me so much. It did, it did give me so much. Um, but yeah, that was, you know, the death threats, the death threats, still getting death threats. Um, you know, they weren't treated right by other organ, like, was it, um, they were talking about, I mean, that, that whole, um, them not being filmed at, at the end of the, um, of the, um, was it the concert they were doing? You know, they, they were like the last act, but they, they, they didn't film it. It wasn't on, you know, it wasn't on video. So nobody can, can, can see the, uh, like no one can see the performance, you know, just the people who were there in, in the stadium filming it with their, you know, their cameras or, you know, all their phones or whatever. So, but yeah, that, um, and then towards the end, yeah, that, mm, yeah, yeah, that, that pissed me off already. Yeah, that yeah, that pissed me off. Um, towards the end, like the stuff that they were saying. I mean, it, and, I mean, who's it, that guy? I mean, who who's that group? That one guy who said, "Yeah, I can't understand. Like, I I can't get into BTS because I don't understand what they're saying." Like, you know, that's so ignorant. It's like, you know, in the day, it's music. You know, it's music. Do you know that? Um, one of my favorite songs is um. Is opera um was it Pavarotti I can't remember the name of the song but um it's one of it's one of uh Pavarotti's fa fa famous famous songs um I don't understand what he's saying you know because obviously he's singing it in Italian but I don't care because it's music and I just feel something from it you've got this you've got this idiot just I don't know. He's just saying that, yeah, well, you know, I can't get into him because I don't, I don't understand his music. It's, ah, uh, uh, we, we, yeah, what we are, we, whatever, whatever. And then the, that, um, that former editor from Star Magazine. Yeah. What, like, what was wrong with her? She, she was having a, she was having a meltdown. Like, she was having an actual meltdown. She was like, look at, yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this boy, look, 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 look at his, look at his hair, look at, uh it's like come on come on man relax it's fashion <laughs> you know what i mean it's fashion people people have different styles i mean that's just how it is i mean i don't know i just don't know i just don't get it and then they were you know they were mocking them um i mean that garbage pal kids the card thing i mean that was just blatant yeah that was just obvious um they were to make them look the worst Put them in the worst um position so yeah of course we're going to do that um but yeah it's just so much man oh god and yeah there's too much to take in there's so much to take in there's so much but um I i'm so glad i'm so glad i got to um i'm so glad i got to watch this video and um yeah and thank you guys for um recommending and suggesting this one so yeah but um anyway if you stay to the end of the video, I appreciate you guys. Um, you know, it was a long video, but yeah. Um, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so 
but i'm going to catch you in the next video and yeah and if you haven't already don't forget to like share subscribe and yeah i will catch you on the next video and i'm out of it peace